Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Quest XI and we're going to go ahead first of all today and hopefully meet Eric who went off at the end of, or rather about the middle of the last episode uh, in order to go and have a bath. So he was persuaded to do that and we were left behind in order to complete side quests and what have you. So in order to proceed we're going to head up to the top of the town here. So head straight towards where it says steam baths, fairly self-explanatory. And we'll see what's going down inside here. See if we can find Eric. We'll select yes to this. Join me. This turned out to be a pretty good idea. We've got the place to ourselves, so we may as well enjoy it. We've earned a little break, wouldn't you say? Can't take it easy for too long, though. Sooner or later, those creeps are going to catch up with us. So, you've been scoping out the town, huh? See anything interesting? Ah, her? Yeah, she was sniffing around here too. She's way too young to be hanging around in bars, though. No wonder they kicked her out. I don't envy her having a kid sister to run around after. They have a habit of causing headaches. <laughs> Did you just say something? Where are you? Where did you go? Uh, 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 huh? I, I, is that a g g You scared us there for a second. What are you doing in here? I was waiting in the end. You, you said you were g going to take take a bath, but but you never came back. <laughs> Where did you go? Why, why did you leave me all on my own? <laughs> Sounds like she's lost someone. <gasps> Wait. This must be the girl whose big sister's looking for her. Why don't we see what we can do to help? How about you dry your eyes and tell us your name, kid? Uh, uh, I'm Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Why don't you come with us, and we'll help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Uh, really? Thank you. Right, so having spoken to Connie, we're going to head straight out of the door uh, that we didn't come in through. So the door that's opposite, or literally straight ahead of where we were standing. And we're going to head around here. And speak to this lady over at the end. And she's going to want us to purchase the sensual puff puff for a mere 20 gold coins. And we are going to select to do this. I don't think I want to know what's going on here. Right, so we get uh, an accolade or whatever it is those things are called. Achievement. Accolades, that's the one. 
Okay, we've actually got ten of those accolades now. Right, if we head back this way, go through this door, this is the other door that we haven't yet used. Uh, there should be an item to grab them in here, you see. There it is. Just some holy water, but still worth grabbing, I guess it's free. And we're going to head back now to the entrance of this building. And another accolade. Well, accolade galore at the moment, isn't it? Back outside now, and we're going to head closer towards... Uh, the front gate once more so we're going to speak to another NPC that's uh, over there oh, another pink bubble just gives us a bit of information towards, towards the quest yep towards the town gate exactly where we're heading and we'll see the girl that we saw earlier again well well what do you know Looks like she's picking fights with grown-ups again. <sighs> hmm. I wish they told me they only let complete pigheads live in this stupid town before I bothered coming here. <gasps> oh, it's you. Hey, kid, good news. We found your sister. Why so shy? Aren't you pleased to see your big sis? I don't know why you're looking so pleased with yourself. That's not my sister. I've never seen this girl before in my life. Huh? Uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters. I've lost my daddy. Gosh, where do I start? Did you not think of, I don't know, maybe asking her who she was looking for instead of jumping to idiotic conclusions? Listen, short stuff. I'm not gonna let a little brat like you speak to me like that. <sighs> I hate to point this out, but you don't have time to be standing there getting your knickers in a twist. You've got a daddy to find. Listen. I want to talk to the owner of that bar, but I can't get in there on my own. Can I come with you? Thanks. I'll never get in there otherwise. You're a lifesaver. I'm Veronica, by the way. Right, let's get going, shall we? I'll look after this little one. Don't worry. You don't have to rely on these two dunderheads anymore. We'll find your daddy in no time. You'll see. Thank you. Kids these days, huh? No respect for their elders. Well, looks like we don't have much choice. Let's hit the bar. I have never heard of that insult before, Dunderhead. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. So we're going to be heading towards the bar at this point. And we have been there. That's where we saw uh, Veronica previously when she was getting thrown out. So now we're going to head inside with her in our group. Welcome to our inn. A safe haven in life's storm. Come and make merry. Looks like a very angry chap he does, doesn't he? Look at those evil eyes. I don't trust him. The warning's unheeded. The fish returns to the tree. What can deter her? She's with us. Do you have a problem with that? Understanding dawns. The fish has a chaperone. She is uh, welcome here. sitting here are they service if you please 
Huh? A fearsome young pup. Perhaps tea will soften her. A fine, warming brew. That sounds lovely. But I don't have time for tea, I'm afraid. I'm looking for someone. I'll get straight to the point. There's a girl called Serena. Blonde hair, looks a lot like me. Have you seen her? Serena. Hmm. Yes, now I recall. The young girl sought her sister, but left without joy. That'll be her. Did she say where she was going? Westward, she wandered. Sensing her sister, she said. Guided by voices. Huh? Westward? Oh, the idiot must have gone to help me, and I was already back here. Oh. I was kidnapped, you see. I was in the bathhouse when some monsters attacked me. They took me off to their lair. I managed to escape. So I came back to find Serena, but it looks like now she's going to try and rescue me. Right, you lot. You're no ordinary travelers. Anyone with eyes can see that. I don't have time to explain all the ins and outs of it right now, but I need you to help me go and find my sister. Are you in? I knew you wouldn't let me down. Are you leaving? I want to come with you. Sorry, you're staying put. But don't worry, I think I know where your dad might be. We'll find him for you, so be a good little girl till we get back. You do realize you're a little girl too, right? You sure you're gonna be able to keep up? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Veronica, sage of Arborea and mighty magician, can keep up with riffraff like you any day. I'm more worried about you slowing me down, if I'm completely honest. Right, let's head west, shall we? The monster's lair is a giant underground labyrinth out that way. I'm pretty sure we'll find Serena in there somewhere. The entrance is on the coast. I know exactly who you are, you know. Don't let me down. Very feisty character, Veronica, isn't she? And she does actually kind of join our party now, though not in an official capacity, so we can't uh, set any tactics for her in battle. And is it just me, or do some of the residents around this place seem to speak in haiku verses? It's uh, something I noticed over the last couple of episodes that we've been playing. And I thought I was going crazy at first. I don't think I've seen that in uh, a JRPG before. Uh, not like this anyway. So maybe it's just this town. Maybe I am just going crazy. Let me know in the comments section if you've noticed that too. Anyway, let's go ahead and save. And then we're going to move on to our next destination. Which is Cryptic Crypt. Okay, in the uh, world map area. So after resting up at the campsite. Uh, just make your way over to the corner of the zone. And we can grab some stuff on the way by the looks of things actually. Just in terms of sparkly stuff and what have you. So you just want to know there's more iron ore there. As well as copper ore, but iron ore is generally more useful. And we're going to head into the dungeon. I'll just show you where we are on the map. So the cryptic crypt is just located in this section of the current area. And we're going to head down. So this place isn't absolutely, uh, absolutely overflowing with loot to grab. So it's not going to take us too long to take detours and things of that nature. But there's quite a bit of uh, new enemies to add to our best tree. So I would recommend doing so, of course, as always. And there's a couple of new enemies straight from the get-go as well. And we've got Veronica to help us, of course. So hopefully shouldn't make things uh, too challenging in this place. So I won't show you all the battles, but I tend to like to go through some of the new enemies as we meet them so you can have an idea of what to expect. 
But I've got a new weapon that I crafted with Fuzz. Eric's got some new armor as well. So hopefully we should be well prepared. And both of my characters are level 12. So you might actually have higher level characters than that. It depends how much grinding you've done. I haven't actually done a whole lot myself. But I have done a little bit from time to time. Who else wants some? <laughs> Though I am noticing it's getting slightly harder to level. So that makes me think that I've kind of done enough grinding. Since new levels are now taking place very, very slowly. Or occurring slowly. So some iron ore around here. And if we go over to the east, I think we can get an event. Uh, another new enemy, so we'll take care of this one. Yeah, like I say, any new enemies, just make sure you battle them at least once. Even if you're not grinding for experience, it's worth doing. And I'm being a little bit lazy here, but don't forget to make use of Eric's half-inch ability. Or you can use the itemized kill, pet power, if you can get both Eric and your hero into pet mode at any one time and that should allow you to steal some nice items as well wins again. right i'm pretty sure yeah i think there's an event here as we try and get this treasure chest yep we fall down uh, to the lower level don't worry we'll have opportunity to uh you know get that a little bit later what we're looking for now is another treasure chest. So just keep your eyes peeled, guys, as we go around this place. And it looks like we want to go down this side and in here. Nope. Seemed like an obvious place for a, a treasure chest, really, didn't it? Let's have a quick gander on around this side, even though there's a big red line telling us, sorry, no way through. It was perhaps worth a look. Okay, so we'll take the only other path available to us. Which will bring us up this ladder here. But I'm absolutely sure there should be an item to grab. Just let me check this. Ah, I think it was in the room where we landed, actually. I'm pretty sure this is the room that we came crashing down in, wasn't it? Well, there is a treasure chest here, as I expected. And it contains an Yggdrasil leaf. Okay, an Yggdrasil leaf. And we're going to head now back over to that ladder that we saw a moment ago. And this time we can actually climb up it. I'm basically going to repeat everything we've just done. But on the western side of the main map up here. So let me just open the map so I can see exactly where we are. Okay. We can see there's a few funny icons on the map. We're going to take this northern path here. Okay, so this is the one that's second from the left. And let me just check that we're going the right way. Okay, we're going to take a left here. Okay, and the floor's going to collapse again. That's exactly right. Right then. This treasure chest just contains some gold ore. There's some new enemies around here. Uh, including a sparkly enemy. Which means we can mount it. Remember that? So we'll defeat one of these other zombie guys first. And hopefully we'll get through this battle fairly quickly. Yeah, so the plan is we ride that monster once we go ahead and defeat it in battle. And we should be able to make our way through uh, some of these areas then a little bit easier. I like these dudes, the walking corpses. Come on, Fuzz, it's down to you. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll do this one next. So don't forget guys, you only need to defeat them in battle as normal. So 
So not too challenging. Another one bites the dust. Okay, and now we can mount. And we're trying to avoid the enemies there, if we can. Grab this sparkly. For a chunk of iron ore. And I'll just make sure there's nothing else to grab around here. There is actually a treasure chest uh, down in this section. Hopefully you guys can see that for a feathered cap. So obviously recommend you go and grab that before moving ahead. But that's the only other item that I could find. The mountain does respawn though by the looks of things. If you lose your current one for whatever reason. Okay and now we should be able to climb up here on this particular steed. Yep. That's what the ability of this steed is. Obviously every steed has its own ability. Try and avoid the enemies there. And we're going to head over here. And we should get a scene when we examine this thing. Right here, so we can mount back up again if we want to do so. And I believe there's actually a mini medal we can grab. So what I'm going to do is head north at this point. And hopefully we'll be able to get there without too much in the way of distraction of the enemies. Ah, oh, another fall to fall down. Another floor to fall down first rather. Uh, but we should be able to just climb back up the way that we've previously done. Ah, oh, distraction. Back at that floor that just collapsed below us then. Uh, I'm going to head over to the next side. Or the next uh, corridor just above it to the north. Okay, because what I'm trying to aim for is this little section over here. I believe this is where a treasure chest is that we are going to want to open. Yeah, a mini medal. So that's what I was trying to get to before we drop down to the bottom floor there. And now we're going to leave here. And head this way. And there might be another treasure chest around these parts. Yep, I can just about see it. Are we going to fall? No. These floors, they're like, are you going to fall or aren't you going to fall? It's very tense. Very tense. Right, now we're going to head uh, to the save point, church slash thing. Up here. That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. Oh. Wait, over there. <laughs> Serena, wake up. It's me, Veronica. Hmm? That's your sister? Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So pull yourself together! <sighs> oh, uh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... Veronica! It, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? 
But how did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> oh, yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I... I thought you were... Well, that you were... You know... <sighs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? <sighs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taken off by monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my... age. <sighs> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one. Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. You know, I had a feeling that something was up with Veronica. Just by the fact that her voice sounded so much older than she looked, I just was waiting for something to happen, uh, or some revelation to come our way, and indeed it has. Okay then, so this is the save point, we can go ahead and save, and probably a good idea too, because we do have a boss fight coming up. And at this point, Serena has joined our party as a guest, uh, along with Veronica, so we still can't control them in battle. However, Serena is a little bit more useful than Veronica has been, she's got some good healing up her sleeves. So we can just make sure that we're fully concentrating on a fence with our controllable characters and we shouldn't actually, you know, uh, get into danger of dying because of Serena there to heal us. So we want to go ahead and touch this root here and this should unlock the way then for us so that we can go ahead and make our way into the next area. Okay, so we're going to head through this door now. Make sure you have definitely saved. Uh, we are going to be facing a boss fight. Fortunately, we know what the word is now. Humra Kadumra or something. Who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here? Oh, yeah. 
threw that jar by the big fat one. That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. Fighting our way out of this one, whether we like it or not. And here we go, our boss fight is off. So this is Jarvis and his shadowy friends. And um, what I'm going to do here is select Fuzz to uh, follow orders because we want to start casting AOE spells immediately with him. And as you can see, we've now got two guest party members. Uh, Veronica is going to continue to be useful, but Serena will be a fairly decent healer. So hopefully Fuzz will be able to start quickly taking care of these ads here. And these are just ordinary ads. Although it looks like they've got a fair bit of health. And Serena, as far as I'm aware, can cast heals all throughout the fight. She's not going to run out of MP because she's a guest party member. Right, one down. Please don't send Fuzz to sleep. Jarvis hits quite hard, but he's also going to be getting some new attacks once we've killed his adds. And they're going to be hurting even more than the ones he's currently using. Incidentally, there's nothing particularly useful to steal off this boss, so I wouldn't worry about using too much uh, of your turns, too much time, too many of your turns in order to try and do so. Right, that breath attack's fairly nasty. Oh man, the ads still aren't dead. Right, hopefully a standard attack from Fuzz should do the job. As you can see, Serena's pretty good at solo healing in this fight. Well, that was handy. A nice boost of defense there. Look at that damage. You see what I mean? About the extra damage he does when his adds are dead. Now it does take him an extra turn though in order to cast that. So uh, I'm going to risk not healing here and just carrying on doing damage. Right, we've got both in pep state now. Oh dear. So we could do with a heal there, please, Serena. Uh, pet powers. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's go for the real decoy. We might be able to finish this guy off with this attack. Hundred points of damage. Is that going to be enough? Oh man, apparently not. I guess boss fights are kind of tuned, aren't they? To expect you to have at least one pet power. They don't want you one-shotting them. But look at this. Serena has actually solo healed all throughout this fight. And the boss is down. 
That was quite a fun fight, actually. Easy. And I don't think that would be enough to level up. Like I said, still a lot of experience to level. Since I'm level 12. this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough, huh? Right. Time to get my magic back. the same we're all our efforts for nothing <laughs> no need to worry on that front I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes but then why do you still look like a little girl sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. By the way, you have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Old Luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen, long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. There are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the Luminary, huh? Not that I ever doubted it, of course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. Right, so we've pretty much finished with this particular dungeon now but before we actually go ahead and make our way out it's probably a good idea if we just uh, make our way back in fact in order to go ahead and save the game so we'll be able to save again shortly anyway but since we've just gone ahead and defeated a boss fight uh, then I'd like to do so now we can also heal up at this fountain okay folks and I'm going to take a break at this point so thanks for stopping by today and we'll continue on. We'll finish off the dungeon, the cryptic crypt, which we've basically done anyway. But we'll leave it, go through the cutscenes and that stuff the next episode. And then we'll see where the story takes us from there. So thanks for stopping by today, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.